Everybody, it's me Sharlina and I know I haven't done a video in a while I do have a bunch of videos that I need to edit and get up but I just wanted to do this video I had just woke up and I seen on my Facebook about um, a youtuber that I watch her name's Tilia and she was fighting cancer well she passed away on the 16th and that was a very shocking I didn't think she would go that young and it's sad to, you know, see kids like that that go through something. But she touched many people's hearts. And she will always live on her. I mean, she just, she lived every day, like, you know, to the fullest. She never once got down or felt bad. I mean, even her last four months in the hospital, she was starting to get down and stuff. But she still did videos. And it's just really sad to see a kid like that that, you know, it's taken so young. Makes you not take things for granted and be thankful for the way you are and uh, all that and when my dad passed away that's when I realized how short life is and I should appreciate my family more and appreciate the friends I have and the support and all of that and I now don't take a lot you know life for granted I am thankful for what I have I may not be rich I may you know not have everything I want but I'm just still thankful for life and thankful for being alive and I just it's sad to see a little girl you know have to go through something like that but she you know she, her name will live on and her everything she's done to help people will live on and I just really found that sad when I got on Facebook and I read that so I just wanted to say you know just be thankful for what you have and don't take things for granted I think I hear somebody don't see him though but I just wanted to get that out there and just, I just feel bad for, you know, all the kids that are out there fighting cancer and all of that. It's just really sad. It makes you just not want to take things for granted. And I'm just thankful for every day that I am alive, you know. I do, there was times when I did get down when my dad passed away and I got down and I just wanted to be with him. But then I realized, you know, I'm here for a reason. Everybody's here for a reason. And it's just finding that reason. And I used to hate life for, you know, just them taking my dad away or, you know, God not giving him another chance. And I realized, you know, my dad was in a lot of pain. My dad suffered a lot. And I know that I would rather have him in heaven pain free than have him live another day on this earth because. It's, I mean, I went through a lot growing up, and my parents divorced when I was 18 years old. They were together for 20 years, and I didn't really, I moved out when I was 16 and didn't really get the chance to, you know, live life as having parents, like, being there and everything for you. My dad started being there. Which my dad was always there for me. He always worked. But when they split, I was able to actually spend. And it's sad, but I only got one year with my dad. I got from January to December with my dad. That one full year I spent with my dad until the last week that he, you know, lived. The last week I had went to Florida and he had passed on within that week. So I'm thankful that, you know, God did give me a full year to spend with my dad. So just be thankful for what you have and just be there for, you know, the people that need you there. And I guess I just say and a lot, but I don't know. There's not enough words to say to make someone feel good when someone passes on. But, you know, and I finally come to realize, you know, that my dad's never coming back, but he's always there watching over me. And like they said, when um, Tilia passed away, they had the lady of Long Island Medium, I think that's what it's called. And she told them that Tilia heard everything they said to her right before she passed away. And, you know, that is a good closure, good feeling to know that they have went on and they're in heaven and stuff like that I'd give anything to hear you know my dad say that I'm still there or I follow you around and stuff like that you know but he does give me signs every day there's not one day I don't go 
with not having a sign that my dad's there. So I guess that's it, enough rambling, but I just wanted, you know, my heart goes out to her and her family, or to her family and everybody, but just be thankful for what you got and just don't take life for granted. And I guess that's it, but I will have some videos posted up here soon. I'm gonna go ahead and post this up. I wanted to just record it because I had just gotten up as you can see and I just found that really sad. I didn't believe it at first and then I was like, wow, her sister did a video and you know, it's just really sad, but she's out of pain, she's happy and it's just, sad to have to see somebody just suffer like that but I guess that's it for now guys like I said I do have some videos coming this week I haven't posted or this weekend we had the little ones so I need to start doing videos when we have her but we had her for the weekend so we will get her not this weekend but next weekend and we are going to go to the zoo so maybe I can do a little zoo trip thing but I guess that's it for now, and I will talk to you guys later, so bye guys.